those bosses. A time of year for tradition and will want to retain what is our record against Plymouth in tradition. We're unbeaten in our last six meetings against the Pilgrims. Into the starting 11, a 22-year-old Bakuna dispossessed down the Blues left-hand side. Early ball into the middle. Wayne was stretching, but more importantly, Ruddy was there to collect in the six-yard box. Yeah, come at the Cardiff City Stadium a couple of weeks ago, but as you say, I'm sure Wayne Rooney will be demanding more from his tricky winger as Stansfield has sprung the offside trap. And Blues are committing bodies forward here. Stansfield, James has made his way into the penalty area. Last ditch challenges by Galloway. He'll come out to Sariki Dembele, looking to place it into that top corner. Replay, but another good opportunity. Bakuna with a second attempt. Decent delivery and in. Jay Stansfield, he's done it again. Blues deja vu for Plymouth Argyle. Devon born and bred. This time in their own backyard, Jay Stansfield strikes against Plymouth Argyle and opens the scoring at home park. Another cannonball to sink the pilgrim ship from the Exeter born and bred man. He's, angled, he's angered the supporters by going towards them after scoring, but again, it's just perfect place, perfect timing. He's, he hasn't even had to jump for the header. Wonderful ball in from Bakuna. Not that they're going to try and play any differently because of an early opening goal. It's that confidence, and we see it now with Dembele. Dembele, neat footwork offloading to Bakuna. He's got a second stab at Ivo in the middle. Mumba with a last-ditch challenge on Emmanuel Ivu, just with a, a glance at the referee, but the referee nodded and confirmed the winger got all ball as the Austrian was preparing to fire. Another goal, even better. What we've seen already, there will be opportunities. James just losing his footing in Plymouth and Argyle looking to take advantage with a Zaz. It broke for Cunliffe, will break for Whitaker to Ben one not too far away from Ruddy's right-hand post. Give him in support. Sonic. Dembele again, a four strong green wall ahead of him, he's got James for company, Ivu slick back hill in towards James, Stansfield picks up and forces a splendid save out of Connor Hazard who had to react well in his near post to keep that out from Jay Stansfield. Mouth action wise in the opening 32 minutes, looking to extend their advantage, Bakuna's corner kick, Roberts whistles just wide. Midfield is by Bakuna. Mumba looking to take advantage. There's a Zaz who slips through towards Wayne. Heroic sliding challenge comes in from Dion Sanderson. Gets a slap on the back from his teammate Emmanuel Ivu. Wrestled back by Bielik. Ivu urged to shoot. Instead, he'll look round the corner for Sariki Dembele. Digs out across into the near post, and Stansfield wasn't too far away with what was just an impish touch darting across that front post. Well, it's wonderful play from Ivo and Dembele, just showing as if he's going to get it to feet and darting in behind, and then it's, a, it's just a drag back. It's actually harder for Stansfield to miss it. He'd be really, really disappointed. But a wonderful front post run. Take advantage. Neat ball around the corner, can't find Cundall. And now Longello can lead the charge. James threads it for Stansfield, who's onside. Stansfield checks back. It's Bakuna. Bakuna will look to Ben one. Held at the first attempt by Hazard and then a slight intervention by James. Yeah. Jay Stansfield certainly haven't scored the first goal. Bielik, brilliant anticipation leading to the interception. And Blues once again are on the front foot. They've committed bodies forward here. Bakuna looking to do it all himself, ran into green traffic. Comes out for Sunic. And there is Bakuna, intricate play edge of the penalty area. Dembele's return ball just slightly heavy, and there is James! 2-0 Blues in Dreamland at home park. James with his third goal in two games. The Welsh international continues his rich vein of form. And Blues are at the double in Devon. Well, it's wonderful football from Birmingham. A little bit fortunate with a few of the short passes, but everybody that had possession of the ball, whether it be Sunic, Dembele, and then Bakuna makes that run and he digs up to the back post, a wonderful cross. All of the Plymouth defenders had been at, um, attracted to the, to the ball at the front post, but Bakuna stands it up and James, has, he's got 10 yards of space in the six-yard box. 
it's a difficult one to, to hit because you never know whether to... All you want to do is keep the ball down. You never know whether to use your laces, but he's gone for the side. Down to the title in League One. They're on the run of just one defeat in their last ten games in League One on their way to the title. The Sanderson just dawdles on it, and there's Edwards to pull one back for Plymouth Argyle right on the stroke of half-time, and there's hope around home park. Well, here comes the delivery, saved by Ruddy, and hook clear by Dion Sanderson. It was the Spanish centre-back Julio Plexuego with the header, forcing the save out of the big man between the sticks. Just looked so comfortable for about 35, 40 minutes, were completely and utterly dominating Plymouth Argyle in their own backyard. Two heavy challenges come in the second by Christian Bielik, which has certainly caused some uproar amongst the Plymouth camp. And all four corners of home park, and Christian Bielik is shown a straight red card. In a blue shirt, was inside the penalty area, so Mumba can pick up and look to build something for Argyle again. Galloway pulls it back. Martin will take it on. Flashes across the face of goal. No real chance of maintaining possession. James, brilliant play, just sucked in three Plymouth players and played it to Dembele, and Stansfield is onside. It's Jay Stansfield bearing out on the penalty area. Stansfield, Juninho Bakuna, it's there! It's squeezed under Hazard, and the smash and grab in the second half, the ten men of Blues restore their two-goal advantage against all the odds. Bakuna sees it home. Stansfield sprung the offside trap and Bakuna provides the finishing touch. Raptures in the Blues away end. Well, Stansfield makes, his, makes up for his mistakes and, and learns from his lesson. He held his run, ran far more squarer than he was in the first half and it led to him being onside. You can see he knows where he wants the ball. Dembele plays it with good weight and then it's about the decision Stansfield makes. He looks up twice. You think he's going to find Sunjic at the, at the front post and he pulls it back cleverly for Bakuna. Well, but just loses out in the Plymouth sandwich. Azaz, Mumba's made the run round the back. Azaz chooses to ignore him in the first instance, now uses the winger. And this is Miller, his first involvement leads to a goal. Ben Wayne, New Zealand international, gets Plymouth right back into it and cancels out Blues' two goal advantage. Penalty area. Mumba will collect and Mumba will dance into the 18 yard box. Azaz. This is Azaz, onto the left foot, driving across the six-yard box. Ruddy confidently down to play to see away any danger. 20 minutes to go. Houghton, around the corner to Azaz, quickly closed down by Burke. Whitaker's snapshot is in. As they did. Miyoshi has won the ball high up for Blues. Koji Miyoshi. Miyoshi across the penalty area, there's Burke to head back across, but nobody home to benefit for Birmingham. It's a great opportunity, Matt, I just think he's tried to... Whitaker down the right-hand side where he's been dangerous all game. Whitaker towards the byline, pulls the ball across, off the line by Ivo and slam clear by Jordan James. Heart in the mouth moment for Blues. The game has transpired and the way it's panned out. This is Isaka, looking for that dream goal, Freddy Isaka. Hooked away by Sunjic. And there is the full-time whistle to bring to an end a championship thriller in Devon. Well, certainly everyone experienced every single emotion in this helter-skelter game. But here at Home Park, after a six-goal thriller, it's finished Plymouth Argyle 3, Blues 3.